My name is Giulio Toffoli. I'm uh, the founder and the project leader of an open source project called iReport. Uh, and I work for Jaspersoft Corporation. Um, now, what we present today is um, a rewrite of this uh, iReport application. I don't know if you ever heard about that, but uh, uh, we will talk about it later. Uh, but first, let's uh, talk a little bit uh, about uh, what we do and uh, what uh, essentially is the environment in which uh, we uh, are creating Jaspersoft Studio. So Jaspersoft is uh, a company that essentially uh, provides uh, uh, business intelligence solutions. So I, I, will, I will not go in deep explaining what business intelligence is, uh, but essentially one of the main piece of the business intelligence is the reporting, uh, meaning the ability to create reports that can be then delivered to, well, different channels like a PDF or an HTML page or even something else. Uh, so the reporting is in some way the foundation of uh, any business intelligence stack. Um, well, Jaspersoft uh, is growing a lot in the, the business intelligence uh, space, but this mostly because uh, the popularity of uh, the Jasper Reports library, which is the foundation of all the Jaspersoft stack. Uh, well, these uh, are a set of well, no customers of uh, Jaspersoft. All of them actually are BI customers, no Jasper Reports users. The Jasper Reports users are much, much more. Uh, so for the people that never heard about Jasper Reports, I will make a brief introduction about what this, uh, this library is. Uh, Jasper Reports is an open source project and uh, uh, the aim of this project is to give the ability to Java applications to create reports. Um, now, reports can be created acquiring data from a very large type of data sources, which uh, can be JDBC connections, up to Excel files, CSV, web services calls or whatever, there is actually an interface, very simple, uh, that can be easily implemented to create your own custom data provider. So if you have a, your own data access layer and you use some Java bins, you can use your own custom layer to feed the reports in, in Jasper reports. You can actually do much more than that. You can even invent your query language and plug your own query language inside Jasper reports. Um, then the Jasper reports API, which uh, is what you would put inside your application if you want to provide reporting capabilities to it, uh, it's, um, uh, it gives the ability to design a report, but not from a visual point of view. This is where you start using visual designers like uh, iReport or Jaspersoft Studio, which is essentially a port on the uh, Eclipse platform of, uh, of iReport. Uh, the Jasper Reports API allows them to compile the report. Uh, we will see this stage of compiling and uh, to create the report itself and finally export the results in one of the uh, output channel supported by Jasper Reports. Um, the report itself is defined uh, using XML. And uh, the files that represent um, the templates for Jasper Reports are called Jasper Reports XML, which what uh, JR XML stays for. So <clears throat> the overall workflow of creating our reports uh, can be divided in three big steps. The first one is the design time, uh, which is when you create your JAXML file. The run action, which is uh, when the compiled version of the JAXML is actually uh, used to create a meta report. 
And finally, when you have this uh, report in memory, you can create a final uh, file, which could be a PDF, an HTML, and so on. Um, this is uh, pretty much uh, uh, all the pieces that compose the Jasper Reports API. Uh, the red rectangle uh, defines what you usually do with uh, uh, an application like JasperSoft Studio, which is create a uh, jar XML. But actually, inside JasperSoft Studio, you can do pretty much all of the operations offered by the API, meaning you can uh, not only design the report, but you can test it. You can uh, use uh, several data adapters to acquire the data to fill your report. And finally, view the report or export the report in your favorite format. So JasperSoft Studio. JasperSoft Studio, as uh, I said, is a visual designer for Jasper reports. It's available both as a plugin for Eclipse ID and as a standalone version. Now, for us, the standalone version is uh, extremely important because up to now, uh, the designer for Jasper Reports uh, have all uh, been considered like tools for developers. But what we would really like is to enlarge the target of users, in particular, allow managers or people that have uh, uh, not that development skills to create reports by their own. Uh, for that purposes, uh, we try to make the creation of a report uh, a process, uh, as easy as possible process. In particular, one of the main problems of uh, designers that uh, are not developers is uh, uh, the creation of expression. So in a report, as we will see later, we have a lot of expressions. We have expressions to define the content of text field. We may use expression to conditionally show or hide elements. We may even have expressions to create dynamical images that should be uh, put inside, uh, inside the report. Um, Jasper Reports has a pluggable system where you can plug your language, but uh, out of the box, you have three options. Uh, one is Java. The second one is using Groovy, uh, which is the way we actually uh, consider the favorite one. And the third one is uh, um, the ability to use a JavaScript for your expression. Now, JavaScript can sound like easier, but uh, the truth is that uh, using Groovy, you have access to all the objects inside the report in an uh, easy way. And uh, that's why it's a good trade-off between uh, Java, which may in some way create problems when you have null pointer exceptions or whatever, and uh, JavaScript, which uh, hyper simplifies the expressions but does not give you the powerful of the Java world out of the box. Um, we will see how JasperSoft Studio is actually a complete environment for design, executing, testing, and deploying reports. But the reason because we call that Studio is because we really want to, with the time, provide extra tools uh, together with, uh, with the designer that can be provide other services like management of uh, Jasper Report Server, which is something uh, that if I have time, I will talk a little bit at the end of the presentation. Uh, or tools to create um, um, all app schemas for all app databases or, and stuff like that. So all stuff that in some way is uh, our tools uh, for mostly uh, IT people, which uh, are useful in, in the ecosystem of the business intelligence. Anyway, not really required for people that are really only interested in using just reports to create reports. Um, all right, so, well, of course, uh, we, 
when we decide to move to the Eclipse platform, we try to reuse as much of uh, possible of what the platform offers. So the main designer is based on Jav. Uh, we use pretty much all the basic services provided by, by Eclipse. So the preference, the workspace, uh, the uh, several things to uh, leverage what is offered by Eclipse IDE when JasperSoft Studio is uh, used as a plugin for the IDE, like uh, the class pad and, and stuff like that. Um, the second part of uh, the uh, interesting evolution of JasperSoft Studio is that, and probably one of the main driver to move to the Eclipse platform, uh, just for just to say, uh, iReport, which is the former uh, designer, is based on the NetBeans platform, which is a very good platform, but it lacks for uh, smart developers. So there are, it's, they have a good community, but we think that the Eclipse community is much, much bigger. And probably there are much more interest into extending what uh, the community itself offers. So one of the main requirements when we start to design JasperSoft Studio was to make JasperSoft Studio as extensible as possible. Now this was pretty much easy because JasperSoft Studio is uh, based on, of course, the Eclipse platform, which is not shown here. Of course, on the bottom we have the Eclipse platform. But on top of that, we have Jasper Reports, uh, which is uh, the core, if you want, of JasperSoft Studio. And Jasper Reports itself already provides a lot of extension points. Not extension points in, in the Eclipse meaning, but uh, simply things that can be plugged inside Jasper Reports, like query executors, the ability to create your own components to be shown inside our report, the ability to create your own query language, the support for your language for expressions, and much, much more than that. And you can actually create your extension to Jasper Reports also. So all these extensions must be supported from, uh, by the designer. So we had to essentially provide the ability to plug inside JasperSoft Studio the visual tools that allows you to deal with the Jasper Report extensions. So let's have an example. Let's say we create a new custom component for Jasper Reports to show a very custom map. Probably your designers want to use a visual tools to configure all the options you are offering with this new component. So the first step is of course create the extension for Jasper Reports but then it makes sense to create an extension for JasperSoft Studio in order to support these Jasper report extensions. And then there are some specific designer extensions uh, that are not uh, uh, tied to, to Jasper reports. So let's say you want to create a plugin that uh, pre prepare a set of fields inside the report because you're company essentially provides this uh, layer uh, to access data which always present you some basic information like the report author or other stuff like that. And you want to pre-create several things or you want to easily uh, manage additional stuff or simply you want to simplify the work and the life of your report designers. So uh, the Eclipse environment is perfect for that because you can essentially uh, use all the, all the Eclipse technologies to create your plugins and use them in, in JasperSoft Studio. Uh, so these are, I, I already talked about some of them. These are possible extensions points provided by JasperSoft Studio. Data adapters in particular is extremely interesting because allows you to essentially create a, a special driver for the data that you want to use with your report. Uh, but how we will see, there are already several data adapters already available inside JasperSoft Studio. 
and uh, most of the time you will not need to, to write anything of that. A mapping tools is uh, another kind of components that is used to help users to create uh, report fields based on the data you want to show. So uh, suppose you are creating a report based on an XML file, it may be useful for you having a mapping tool that helps you to say which node and attributes of the XML files should be mapped to fields inside your report. Okay, so um, let's have a quick look to JasperSoft Studio. Okay. All right, well, the screen is pretty small, but we will try to uh, to do everything with what we have. So the first things I want to do, this is, by the way, JasperSoft Studio in RCP mode. So what we see here is the RCP version of JasperSoft Studio. Uh, the first things I want to do is to create a new report. So uh, JasperSoft Studio runs the, um, the wizard for me. I can create a blank report or I can start with a template. Let's say take this leaf gray. I can actually create my own templates and, and, and make them available to, to this list. Okay, I have to say what's the name for my report and save it in my workspace. All right, now if I have an SQL query to be used, I can use it to uh, quickly create my report out of uh, the information of this query. So uh, let's say select star from uh, members. Oh, well, I have to select uh, my data adapter. I have several data adapters already configured in, in my environment. These are the fields that have been found in my, with my query, so I can select some, some fields here. Last name, first name, title, birth date. All right. I don't want to do any grouping for now, so I will click Finish. And here is my designers. Now, I can start from scratch and create this uh, this report, but of course, using the wizard, it's, uh, it's a great hand because it already creates the basic report for me. Uh, now I can preview that. Well, this is uh, using an, an empty data adapters. My data adapters are here. So I can create my data adapter by, well, by clicking this button. This is a list of possible data adapter, actually data adapters built in in JustPressof Studio. So I may want to create a JDBC connection, a GNDI, but even a CSV, an XML, uh, I can use a JSON file, I can use an Hibernate session and uh, use inside my report an Hibernate query language query in order to select my beans and use these beans inside the report. Um, I can create my totally custom uh, implementation of GR data source, which is an interface extremely simple. Uh, it contains just two methods, the next to move to the next record and get field to get a particular field from the current record. So extremely easy to implement. Uh, but there are many implementation of GR data sources that are not shown here. For instance, I can, I can create an JR data source by filling up a, a set of hash maps and present each hash map as a record for, for, my, for my report. Um, there are even implementation for uh, big data um, kind of stores. Uh, I have here one for Hive, but uh, uh, we have a, a connection, a data adapter for MongoDB also for people that uh, uh, knows a little bit about um, 
uh, big data. OK, so um, I will select my local last here, say probably preview. And here is my, my report. OK, um, how much time do we have? Almost now? All right, so uh, we have no time to do much more than that. The idea was to show how to create group, how to use expressions. Uh, just a little note about uh, uh, this expression editor, which is uh, new in, uh, in JasperSoft Studio. It's an evolution of the expression editor uh, we had in, uh, in, in a report, but it's really designed for people that does not know Groovy or Java. So this is essentially where you write your expressions. Uh, this, uh, you can write your expression using, using Java, for instance, or Groovy. But uh, uh, high-level users really are not able to write these expressions, even if for us are pretty trivial. So uh, what we provide is uh, a set of built-in functions, which are actually Java functions, that can be used by people to create uh, their expressions. And uh, the aim here is to allow them to create really complex expression just pointing and clicking and uh, without having people to learn a new language. So that's, uh, that's pretty much the world presentation. Uh, oh, if there are any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, is there a data source connector for EMF? Well, that's, that's a good question. Um, not for now, but uh, it's so easy to create them that you can do that. Moreover, is there a connection to bridge the Jasper reports world with the DTP world? Uh, we actually did uh, once, but then we changed a little bit the architecture behind the data adapters, so we would have to rewrite that. But uh, definitely, there is nothing out of the box, but everything can be easily done. Matter of hours. So what's the license of your Jasper Studio? Can I include it in my own product to give? Uh, th that's the idea. That's the idea. Um, if uh, you have a... Uh, a commercial product. A commercial yeah. product, and you want your customer to customize uh, their report, yeah. Yes, uh, we, we allow that. What's the license of? Well, of it's it? the uh, right now it's still uh, GPL and not yeah, LGPL. Right. But the idea is that this should move to ECDL, I mean the Eclipse okay. of uh, the Eclipse license. Uh, and I ask because we had the same problem with iReport, which is GPL. Yeah, and you can't even include GPL. it into your commercial product because then I have to open source my whole product so that's well a no at the go. beginning this was still core business for Jaspersoft right now the core business of Jaspersoft is BI so more people are dependent by the Jasper report technology better is for us because move to Jasper report server is the natural evolution for it's like the next step when you are a big system a lot of reports and so on so we extremely encourage adoption of JasperSoft Studio, of course, and Jasper reports in general. All right, thank you.